This video is sponsored by Skillshare. How? No. No, no, no. It happened again. Good day and welcome. Today we are capturing with the DJ Mini 2 and iPhone 12 mini and editing on iPad. I was so optimistic in the morning. Yeah. I'm slightly disappointed, well not slightly, I'm quite very much disappointed in iPad. Not because of its performance, not because I wasn't able to edit the video. I was able to edit the video pretty well actually. It, it went really smoothly, the footage was easy to manipulate. Everything was very easy to do. The screen recording of the iPad did not show up. There's no screen recording. All of the footage with me editing and, li and live commenting is just gone. Well, not from the camera, but what's the point of that footage if you, then, if you don't see what I'm doing? So, although if this video will receive, I don't know, 10,000 likes, I can re-edit this video again because, well, it took a while and I just... on a boat, a big boat, with sails on it. Today we are capturing with the DJI Mini 2 and the iPhone 12 mini and we'll be editing this whole video on an iPad and I'll be showing you how I'm doing it so this is from 0 to 100 made on the mini devices and on iPad so enjoy. <laughs> I just got a really sketchy situation with the drone. I was um, ending the flight because of the battery and uh, we didn't catch it. It ran into this thing and then it fell on the floor over there, but it did not fell in the water, so all good. back now that was an experience and now I have to edit all this on an iPad and I have already done that and I don't know if I will split this into two videos or one so disappointed in this process all right so all that was captured on the DJI Mini 2 and the 
iPhone 12 mini, it's time to do some editing on the iPad. So why am I making this video? Because I have gotten some requests. Today I will see if you really do need a computer to do some really cool editing stuff. First things first, what you have to do is you have to get the footage into the iPad. The easiest process is to get the footage from your iPhone 12 mini to the iPad. You can just airdrop it. A little bit more time consuming was to get the footage from the DJI Mini 2 to the iPad because well, you have to connect the controller to the iPad. You have to have the DJI Fly app on the iPad and then you have to turn on the drone and transfer the files wirelessly and uh, it takes about uh, I would say 25 minutes to transfer the files it was about 7 gigabytes 7 point something and uh, it was transferring at the speed around 5 megabytes per second so it took a while but now the files are on the iPad as we can see we have all the iPhone stuff and then at the bottom here we have all the and uh, for editing we shall be using a Premiere Rush 3, 2, 1 and it's recording. So as I mentioned before this is Premiere Rush and uh, it's a great app for editing videos it's really really good. How did that happen? Is it seriously not powerful enough? Oh my God, I just... <sighs> so I just recorded the whole thing again and the recording disappeared again. I have a feeling that this iPad is just not powerful enough to be handling Premiere for as long as I am talking and still record the screen. Oh man, I, I just, I just, I just told you everything. I just went through the editing process and it's pointless. All right, let's quickly go through it again. This will be a lot shorter because I just, I, I, I don't know if I can show you actually the editing process of this video with the screen recording because it keeps dying on me. And so I've done this already two times. Yeah, so if you if you, if you get this video 10,000 likes, I will definitely find a way how to record this and re-edit the whole video so you can see my editing process. But now I, all I can do is just go through the functionality of this app and I can't really show you the editing. Um, excuse me, but uh, I'm already tired of this. I've spent the whole day on this video and I've gotten nowhere. So excuse me, but bear with me. 10,000 likes, can you do it? <laughs> so first things first, let's start simple. We have the cut tool, so um, here in this part or you can just also click on the um, shot and you can split it and it cuts it in half and then we can uh, also delete the parts we don't need uh, originally it looks something like this but i like to have it uh, like this because then we can add more videos on top of videos so uh, like uh, in this part i will just check if we're, we're still recording which is good <laughs> um, then yeah, then we have the same controls on the left, cutting and uh, deleting. We can also duplicate uh, layers. Uh, haven't had the need to do that, but you can. Uh, you can also add your media. You can uh, add a voiceover, you can add graphics. And um, actually by adding your media, that's how I added the song. I downloaded it on artlist.io, an amazing subscription service. When you get your own, link in the description. Uh, some very quality music there. I just got the music on my iPad and I just imported it here in Premiere and I just started editing it. So uh, then we have some um, effects, some transition effects, but I really, really don't care about that stuff because I, I usually just cut or do mask transitions. Uh, still recording, all's good. Uh, but here I was just doing some cuts and speed ramping transitions, which is basically just speed ramp at the end of the shot, which like 
kind of is like a transition, but not really. But it gives you that feel of transitioning into another shot with, uh, with this oomph. <laughs> and um, you can also auto reframe shots with some uh, motion tracking, which is intense, but I haven't used that because, well, don't really care for that. Colors, very easy to color grade. I, I added the neutral um, preset. I added set density to 46 and edited some basic uh, controls like contrast, highlights, shadows, a little bit desaturated. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then I applied the, this color grading effect to the to all of the shots and it just looks good. It looks good enough for an iPad video. And then my favorite controls are still recording, good. My favorite control is the speed ramping. You can do speed ramping. Like, I don't know if I can show you because I have a feeling that it will stop the screen recording and this whole segment will be for nothing. So I would, won't just touch it, but you can do speed ramping. And uh, if you go to Skillshare, you can learn that, by the way, I will tell, tell you all about it later. But if you get me 10,000 likes, I will definitely show you how to do that in a different way without screen recording with another camera. But yeah, you can definitely get some pretty cool... Enjoy. You can get some pretty cool speed ramping shots. A uh, very powerful tool here in this very simplified Premiere. And uh, you can also have some advanced audio settings. Like for example, you can have the music automatically decide when to be um, quieter so you can hear you talking and you can uh, also change the volume of the shots which is a very basic control but very easy to do and very welcome because sometimes phone audio can be very loud as it was in most of these shots and uh, yeah the whole process of editing the video on this iPad was very very easy okay I will stop this recording so it actually saves because oh, I have spent way too much time on this video. I just, but all in all, the editing process in this app was very good. It was very good and I enjoyed it. It was easy to do. I just am very disappointed in the screen recording capabilities of this iPad. It's, uh, it's not, now it's saved. Wow, thank God, thank you. Uh, yeah. It cannot handle screen recording and Premiere at the same time, I guess. That's my, that's my conclusion. I guess you learned something new today as well. <laughs> but now it's time for something exciting and very not disappointing. It's time for our sponsor. And our sponsor today is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people just like you. Skillshare is a place where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes like photography, videography, design, editing, and so on. Great thing about Skillshare is that all of the classes are very to the point so you can learn the knowledge quickly and start mastering it right away. And because today's video is about editing on iPad and Premiere Rush, uh, I have found this very cool class just for you which is uh, the name of the class is Adobe Premiere Rush, how to edit videos on your phone. So basically you can learn how to edit your videos on your phone, which is almost like on the iPad. It's just iPad has more screen real estate, phone is slightly smaller. So if you learn how to do it on your phone, the iPad will be way more easier. And one more great thing about all of this is the fact that it's affordable. And first thousand people who will click the link in the description shall receive one month free of Skillshare Premium. This is actually a new thing. So uh, previously, I think it was slightly less than one month, but now for these summer months, you can actually get whole month free on Skillshare. So go check it out, learn something new today. And now we can return to the ending of the video that I recorded in the morning with I think a lot more enthusiasm and with a, a little bit more hopeful view to the future because uh, I thought I 
have gotten the perfect screen recording of the editing process, but I did not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.